Device atmospheric entry in one minute and 35 seconds. At this time, Phoenix has now started transmitting 8 kilobit per second data as opposed to carrier. Uh, originally, carrier, like we said before, was like a constant C note that was just easy to pick out. Uh, we are now transmitting actual data. That data is being re received and recorded and will be played back later. Uh, the turn to entry has been completed, and now all we're waiting is the entry to the atmosphere. You can, you can see in this view the communications links from Phoenix to the two orbiters. Uh, they're both very strong and getting stronger. MRO and Odyssey, like I mentioned before, are both converging over the top of Phoenix uh, toward parachute deployment. We're getting very close to entry. Atmospheric entry on my mark. We have now entered the atmosphere and are starting to slow down. As the atmosphere gets thicker and thicker, the heat shield will get hotter and hotter and start to ablate. When that happens, we'll be generating a plasma, a local plasma, and that may affect UHF transmissions. We may see some blackouts occur in this time frame. Phoenix now one minute past the entry point. We still have a signal by direct by Odyssey. And we see it uh, on di directors as well. We notice a drop in the Odyssey signal, but we still have Odyssey data. Okay. At this point in time, Phoenix goes normally through peak heating. At this time, we still see a signal by Odyssey. Phoenix now two minutes and 25 seconds past the entry point. We still have a signal via Odyssey. Standing by for reacquisition via direct to Earth. Standing by for Odyssey switch, switch to 32K in 45 seconds. We've been maintaining Doppler lock with, with Mars Odyssey all the way through the peak heating point. Peak heating is where we would have expected to lose the signal. We've maintained it all the way through. Uh, at this point, we've also experienced the maximum G-forces that we would have experienced during re-entry at about 9 Gs. Stop of Odyssey canister data and switch to 32K in 10 seconds.
Odyssey switch to 32K detected. We are Odyssey locked up on the Phoenix carrier. Standing by for expected parachute deployment and Phoenix switch to 32K. At this point in time, Phoenix would have normally deployed its parachute. Standing by for telemetry acquisition. Standing by for radar RF on and altitude convergence. Radar switch to altitude mode. Standing by for altitude convergence. Land-leg deployment trigger detected. Ground velocity velocity 60 meters per second. Standing by for altitude convergence. In time, Phoenix would have normally reached altitude convergence. We're standing by for confirmation via telemetry. Radar reliable. Altitude 2,000 meters. Altitude convergence detected. Altitude 1,800 meters. 1,700 meters. 1,600 meters. Standing by for land separation, altitude 1100 meters. Signal may drop out during land separation. Altitude 1000 meters. The separation detected, we have reacquired the signal, gravity turn detected. Altitude 600 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters, 250 meters, 150 meters, 100 meters, 80 meters, 50 meters. Constant velocity phase detected, altitude 40 meters, 30 meters, 27 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. Landing in its sequence initiated. Helium vent detected. Standing by for normal termination of EDL comm. 